Hey guys, welcome to part two of the whiskey gift box. Uh, and this week I finished the box. As you can see behind me, it's done. I've done everything from staining to glue up to personalization. And big shout out to my guys at DIY, DIY Woodworking Hangout uh, for helping me figure out how to do this personalization thing with the, uh, with the toner transfer method. Super, super easy and uh, really came out beautifully. I can't really zoom in on the logo because it's a corporate gig. I think I mentioned it in the previous video. This is a, an Etsy custom uh, request and it's for a corporate customer so I'm sure they don't want their logo all over YouTube. But uh, please check it out. Like and subscribe, share. Thanks a lot guys. So we're picking up where we left off from the previous video. Um, all the parts were done in the last one, everything was milled, all the parts were created, and here I'm just putting on the gel stain. Um, I think I really figured out how to use this uh, at the end of this video, you'll see where I just do some touch-ups. Um, here I, I don't know, I was following the directions, but I don't think the directions are right slather it on, you wait a few minutes and then you, you wipe it off but you just never get I don't know enough of it off and then it cakes on then you gotta sand it off later on and don't get me wrong I think it came out really well it's just that you know simpler instructions would have been better Started to glue up the uh, the lid, and I just did it with simple miter joints and glue. Uh, you'll see in a sec. I'll bust out my uh, trusty Mastercraft uh, band clamp that I got on sale. I think for five bucks a Canadian Tire. It works okay. You got to really work it to make sure that everything's square. I'm measuring uh, the panel that I'll need to place into the lid. There's 9 inches by 16 and a fraction. Yep, confirmed it was 9 inches. Okay, toner transfer. Uh, print whatever you want. It's got to be from a laser printer, mirror image. Um, I did it at 1200 dpi, so basically more toner. And then you need lacquer thinner uh, that you put over top of the paper, and I found that it works best by pressing down. It didn't work that well there. I sanded it back and did it again. But really pressing down, and it worked really well. Here, just pull the uh, the lid frame out of the clamp. I'm just doing some cleanup here. This thing came out looking really nice. It was just sort of a huge pain. I'm not a fan. But maybe I did it wrong. Leave me a, leave me a comment. I'd love to uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyone with any more experience or ability to read instructions better would certainly be welcome. And the glue up begins. Here's a funny one. Actually, my uh, my glue bottle broke on me. 
last week, and it just so happens that I, I watched a John Heiss video where he uh, he puts his glue inside one of these French's mustard bottles, and man, it works! It works a treat. So I'm gonna continue doing it. I actually like the control and how much comes out. Uh, so this was a snug fit in the uh, in the panel for the lid. I like the contrast of the stained versus the unstained wood. It makes both pop. This was the wood that I got from the pallet. I mean, I, di I didn't say it earlier, but it, uh, I feel like it goes without saying, but this is all pallet wood that's been milled, and uh, in this case, those boards were joined. What you don't see here is that I glued on uh, a panel uh, this morning so that I could work on this tonight, but it's just see me do is flush trim that panel that was glued onto the bottom of the uh, of the sides this morning. Uh, now I know you guys are going to tell me, I'm sure someone's going to leave a comment telling me that I put too much stress on that uh, flush bit, but uh, I didn't have any issue. You know, I know you're not, you're not supposed to cut with it, but rather just, you know, flush trim. I had no issue. Uh, here what I'm doing is the lid lined up being too wide, so I trimmed it down for a perfect fit above the box. And here you can see me sort of working it around and placing it perfectly. And more cleanup. <laughs> now, for the big gun, I use some, uh, some 60 grit here just to sand back some of the stain that I don't know, got a little blotchy. I don't know, like too much got kicked on, so it had to come off. And uh, I used a spacer for the hinges so that I could perfectly locate it on the lid and then on the box later. And my knife was dull, so I flipped the blade around. I know I could have done this with a uh, with the router and a jig, but sometimes I like to do work uh, by hand, and and a sharp chisel is pretty fun, to be honest. 